Hi guys, it's Mia Ann Stein here encouraging you to get outside, hunt, fish, shoot, and savor all that life has to offer. In the last episode, we talked a little about how you choose a hunting rifle, and today I am going to be sharing one of my favorite companies with you and a favorite rifle that I used this fall during hunting season. Stay tuned. This winter, stay warm from head to toe with WSI Sports' heater gear layers. Use Leah's affiliate code, LLCO10, at WSISports.com and get 10% off your order. All products are proudly made in the USA. WSI Sports is bringing back pride in American-made clothing. That code, once again, LLCO10 for 10% off at WSISports.com. So I wanted to let you know that any items or products that I talk about, I am not sponsored by them. I am giving you my honest opinion and a review and you can take it from there and decide what you want to do. But today I'm going to be talking to you about the Tika T3 Lite Rough Tech. This hunting season we went out in southwest Colorado. We pursued elk and mule deer, and my daughter was successful with the Tika. Tika sent me this rifle, and when they asked me what rifle I wanted, I really went through their lineup to see what would work for our area in southwest Colorado and the way that we hunt. We do a lot of spot and stock hunting, we do a lot of horseback riding, and we are up and down the mountains. It's quite a bit of work, and I didn't want to be carrying something that weighed too much. I looked at their light line, which is a lightweight line, and in there I found the Rough Tech, and it's labeled as such because of the stock. Now, I did a lot of testing with the rifle at our range. I did different shooting scenarios, which I always suggest before you go on a hunt. Make sure you take that rifle out and sight it in, and make sure that you test it in a variety of shooting positions. You want to be familiar with it before the hunt. One of my most memorable hunts was hunting with Sockel rifles over in Russia. So first they took me to Finland and then we went and hunted in Russia and you can go and check out my YouTube. I have some videos of that event. It was so much fun. The most memorable hunting trip I've ever been on. But also, I learned a lot about the company. And Sako Rifles, they started out making rifles for the Finnish military. They take pride in their quality craftsmanship and the work that they do, and it definitely shows in their rifles. Now, I mentioned Sako Rifles because Sako also makes Tika. And the Tika rifles are a subline, but my goodness, they are superior quality as well. When I came home from that hunting trip, I raved to family, to friends, to everybody about their rifles and mainly about their bolt action. The bolt, it is the smoothest bolt that I have ever ran and I just loved it. So when Tika sent me this rifle, I was so happy to invite friends to the range to embark in a range day. And I just bragged to them about that action. I love it. As I mentioned the action, remember that because I'm going to tell you some scenarios that you're going to be even more impressed. After testing that rifle, we headed out on our hunt. And when you're hunting, things can get exciting in a hurry. Once you make your shot, you want to be able to run that bolt and cycle around in quickly just in case there's need for a follow-up shot. That bolt, as I said, it runs like butter. It's so smooth. Let me tell you about the rifle and features that it has before I tell you about the hunt. The rifle features a detachable box magazine, and when you drop around into the trough when you're loading, there's no hang up when you slide that bolt forward. With an oversized bolt handle, It is easy to do this with gloves on in the winter time or when your hands are cold. That's a feature that I love. And it's something to consider when you're looking for a hunting rifle 
because some people like a smaller bolt and some people like a bulky bolt. So take that into consideration. Something else is that you need to, if you have an oversized bolt, make sure it's not going to get hung up on your pants or other gear if you're spot and stock hunting. I noted that the rifle began as a military manufacturer. The Saco plant also makes rifles for the Canadian Mounted Rangers. They know what works year round and in cold, harsh temperatures. I mention this because this hunting season, we experienced the arrival of winter. It began with wind, then rain, and then snow, and we were in extremely cold temperatures. When you're out in those single digit temperatures, which can be worse in later winter months, you want that bolt to run smoothly, and the Tika did just that. Opening morning, my daughter, we were shivering and chilled, and it was a little brisk, <laughs> but she laid down a deer at 415 yards, and that Tika shot awesome. It did its job. We were using Norma ammunition, and I will give you another podcast episode about ammunition. The caliber that we were hunting with was the 270 Winchester. Just to give you a little backstory on what all was going into that. Now, my hunting partners, they continued to hunt that opening day. They didn't have any shots, but after we took care of my daughter's animal and such and got that hung and she began processing, I headed up to continue my hunt and I joined my hunting partners. It was frigid cold temperatures by then. If we were hunting in two feet of snow, everything was icing up and my hunting partners, they had three different hunting rifles and all three of them had issue with their safeties not able to move. They had frozen up. Uh, One of them had the bolt, wouldn't open. And since you're hunting in wet conditions, it's important to dry and clean and oil your guns and make sure they don't rust because the inside of that barrel is so important. But that Tika, as my hunting partners were fidgeting and messing around and trying to get their guns to operate, the Tika ran smooth. I was secretly over in the background, just check my safety. Yep, it still works. Check my bolt. Yep, it still works. And that was such a confidence builder and it just reaffirmed how much I love that rifle. So stay tuned. I'm going to give you another quick blurb from one of my affiliates and I'll be right back. For the love of the outdoors, open spaces, and mountains, shop www.mia.limited forward slash one. The Mac Outdoors Mountains Are Calling series of apparel is perfect for you or your loved ones. Support the channel and shop now. www.mia.limited forward slash one. I wanted to tell you all thank you for all your support of me and not just this podcast, but my other outlets. It is a joy to be able to share and learn and teach and answer your questions. So I appreciate all the support that you give. If you are interested in asking questions or getting in touch, you can email me. The email address is contact at miaanstein.com. So back to the Tika rifle. The Tika Lite, it's a base model off which the Rough Tech is designed. And I mentioned that before that I chose the Rough Tech. The Lite is a synthetic stocked rifle. It has an angled low grip design. So it's easy for somebody with smaller hands like me to get my hand on the grip as well as reach the trigger. The Rough Tech has a roughed surface texture throughout. And so that allowed me to get a solid grip no matter the weather conditions. I was shooting a 270 Winchester and this rifle comes with a muzzle brake. I don't have a muzzle brake on mine. It is included for reduction of recoil. I personally don't like the muzzle brakes because you have a chance of collecting debris and especially when I'm hiking or riding horses out in the mountains, that's something that I don't want is to have to worry about debris and in the muzzle and ending up in the barrel. That rifle also comes with a large recoil pad. It's nice and soft. The length of pull on it is 13.2 inches and it comes with additional spacers so that you can adjust that length of pull and customize it to you. The trigger, it's 
precise and it's crisp and it makes clean shots. You don't have to struggle to pull it. I'm not having to go and have that trigger work done. It really helps make that rifle very accurate. This rifle that I ordered, it comes with stainless steel bolt and it is only run when you disengage the safety mechanism. That's something that I personally, I wish that I could run the bolt without disengaging the safety because I just would like to be able to load and unload without having to take it off safe. But we always follow our safety rules and keep that muzzle pointed in a safe direction. So it's something that you definitely have to remember. The bolt, as I said, it releases even in the coldest temperatures, and that was outstanding. I will offer you a quote from Tika Rifles. Tika Rifles provides you with an extremely rigid action with a two locking lug T3 bolt. The bolt features a spring loaded plunger ejector and a removable bolt handle with a 70 degree opening angle leaving plenty of room for handling the bolt. This is one of the smoothest actions on the market. As I said before, they definitely have that, that bolt down and that sold me on their rifles. It's something that if you're ever at a gun store and you want to try it out, just try cycling that and get a feel for what you think of that. Let me know. I would love to hear your feedback on that rifle. Tika not only gets its light mode by having the synthetic stock, but it also has a fluted bolt and fluted barrel. That reduces the overall weight of the rifle. The rifle weighs in at just under 6.5 pounds and it has an overall length of 42.5 inches. It is wonderful to handle in the field. My Tika, as I said, it's chambered in 270. They do offer a wide variety of calibers. If you would like to let me know what your favorite caliber is, you can comment on my social media outlets. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Parler, MeWe, uh, Twitter, all of those, and I would love to hear from you. The magazine, it holds three in the magazine and one in the chamber. It has a 20 inch rate of twist. And right now, I just would love for you to get a chance to try that. If you have another favorite rifle or if there's one that you're curious about, as I said, let me know. I would love to hear from you and I do appreciate your support. I'll be back next week with another episode. Thanks for listening. Bye.